Hello, this is Dave, W7UUU, just doing a little video to illustrate the operation of my Heathkit SB620 pan adapter. So, here's our main pip where I live, that I rotate to the right, and that other pip should be there. Oh, he stopped calling. Oh, there's one to the right there. There he is. And now we'll go back back over to this big pip until he talks again here oh there's a monster one so I'm looking out about five kilohertz each direction go back over here and just follow the pips Go up the band a little bit. Here's one coming. So it works very well. I mean, it's not 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 exactly like running a flex radio. There's no waterfall. <laughs> um, let's go back down a little bit and bring a couple down from the right hand side. There's one. So anyway, it's a very, uh, very useful little device. Let's just run down to the CWN and see if anybody's... So this is a ready station. You can see him just to the left there. And there, of course, is our JT fellas. And moving on down. Ooh, whopping CW signal there. So there you go, that's my um, SB620 um, band scope, all part of the K1T station with the uh, SB640 linear, linear master oscillator external for working split, and uh, then of course the SB650 digital dial, all running off of my Heathkit SB101 transceiver. So there you go, that's what a working restored SB620 looks like on the air. Thanks for watching. This is Dave W7UUU.